So okay, here's the Python shell, and at the time of this recording I'm using Python 3.8.1. I want you to think of the shell as a calculator. So first, let's just go ahead and do some arithmetic operations. Let's say 5 plus 6, and we get 11. Notice that the input line has the three right arrows. The output line doesn't have any arrows on it. So that's how you can tell the difference between an input and an output line. Now let's go ahead and do some subtraction. 7 minus 11. Well, that gives us negative 4. Um, what I can't do is I can't go back to a previous input line and then change it. The computer won't let me do that. So you can only type on the most recent input line. You can go back and copy, and depending on whether you're using a Mac or a PC, uh, ask your teacher how you can go back and copy. You wouldn't want to copy the entire line like this, so you wouldn't want the triple arrows. You just want to copy those parts right there. And now let's go ahead and add 8, and I get 4. Let's do some multiplication. 345 times 234, that gives me 80,730. Let's do some division, 12 divided by 7. Look at all those decimals. So Python does a great job at giving me a really good approximation to a number. Uh, let's take 2 and raise it to the third power. That actually looks like two multiplication symbols, um, which that's how you get exponents, 2 to the third power, which is 2 times 2 times 2. Let's say I wanted to take the square root of a number. So from the math module, I'm going to import SQRT, which is called the square root method. And now what I do is I take the square root of the number 5, which is 2.23, yada, yada, yada. Well, what is a square root anyways? Well, the square root of 5 is the number when multiplied by itself gives you the number 5. So if I take the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, it's going to give me 5. And because we're dealing with approximations here, that last digit is a 1, but that's very, very small. So basically, the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, not basically, exactly, the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5. So I want you to think of the shell as a calculator. Um, when we get to writing really large programs, the shell is not what we want to use. We want to use the editor. But for very short calculations, for very short programs, the shell is a, a good place to start. And we're going to learn a lot of our, our rules for the Python language in the shell first before we head over to the editor.